Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to knit this beautiful winter beanie. You can use this beautiful pattern for anything else but you have to work in a round. So today I'm going to use uh, circular needles so we will work in a round and it's not hard to make it at all. It's easy pattern, so let's get started. So you'll need circular needles. I'm going to use this uh, wooden needles. I really like them. It's my favorite. I really like uh, work with them. And uh, the cord, you can have a, uh, you can have longer cord. It's up to you. And I'm going to use eight millimeters. Uh, circle needles, needles. <laughs> so you can have these ones or you can have simple ones. It's up to you. And pair of scissors, yarn needle, and I'm going to work with this yarn. It's yarn called Everyday Big from Himalaya. It's hundred percent anti-peeling acrylic yarn, hundred grams and eighty meters. And one ball of this yarn, it's enough even for an adult size. Okay, I'm going to make an adult size of this beanie. And now I'm going to cast on. And I'm going to cast on with long tail. So you should have three times more um, uh, longer the tail than a circumference of the beanie so make a slip knot bring it on your needle and count it as first stitch now i'm going to use a thumb and point finger and cast on like this so insert your uh thumb and point finger to the space and turn it now your needle has to go from below here from above here and back at the thumb and tighten it so one two three steps <laughs> here and here and here so i'm going to cast on like this if you have different way how to cast on it's up to you you can do it with your favorite way and i'm going to cast on 72 plus one and this is size of beanie uh, for six to nine months old baby uh, circum circumference of this beanie is about 41 centimeters and uh, if you want to uh, make this size of beanie cast on 60 plus one okay i have 72 plus extra one stitch um, so i have 73 uh, stitches on my needle and you uh, you need to cast on multiple of two plus extra one but now we are going to join uh, these all stitches in a round and we will lose one stitch so we will have a multiple of two we will we will get 72 stitches in total so you can pull the cord somewhere here if you have small size uh, or if you have a smaller size of head or if you have uh, too too long the cord of needles and now we have to join it in in a circle and to make sure it doesn't turn all stitches should uh, go the same way and now 
Take the first stitch on your left needle and bring it on the right needle. Now take this um, first stitch on the right needle and bring it over this stitch. And we lost one stitch, so now we have 72 stitches. Now uh, we can knit and we will knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. So we are going to make a rib stitch. So it's easy to do. You will just knit the first stitch. Now purl. So bring the yarn in front of your needle and purl one. Now knit one. Purl one again. So alternate, knit one, purl one, all the way around and meet me back again at the end of this round. Then I will show you what next. Okay, I am at the end of the round and if you are an uh, absolute beginner of knitting, you should uh, know and you should see what stitch is knit, what stitch is purl. So, this is... Um, it's not so uh, well in this first round, this is purl and this is knit. So it's little V. This is pearl. Um, there is a little bump. But in the second round, uh, you can see it better. So you shouldn't guess. You should know or count well. So first stage in the second round. Now you have to uh, knit. So you can see... Um, you can see this is the first stitch what we knit before. So you uh, have to knit the same stitch. Start with the knit, then purl, then knit. So knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. And you will repeat it like this all the way around. And it's up to you uh, how many rounds you will make with this pattern. It's the lower part of head, so I'm going to make about eight rounds. So knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, all the way around and make um, about eight rounds in total. This is how it looks like. Okay, and this is how it looks like now. Um, the height of this lower part of beanie is about five centimeters. And I'm making uh, an adult size. And now I'm going to change the color of yarn. It's up to you if you will change colors of yarn uh, or not. You can continue with the same color of yarn. So... It's not hard to make or hard, it's not hard to change it. Uh, maybe you have some your favorite uh, way how to change colors of yarn. Um, 
If you are absolute beginner, you should mark the beginning of the round. But I know here is the beginning because of the starting tail. Okay, now, now you can cut the yarn, the previous color of yarn, and keep the tail a little longer because you need to sew it inside your head uh, after. And now we are going to make the beautiful pattern and the first, uh, very first stitch I'm going to uh, I'm going to use both colors of yarn for the very first stitch just for the first stitch okay so I have a stitch marker here on the beginning of the round now take both colors of yarn and make first stitch make knit one with both colors it's better i think it's better because there is not too too big hole so knit one like this with both colors of yarn now take just the uh, the new uh, color of yarn so it's a light gray in my case tighten it and knit okay we Knitted two first stitches and now take a following stitch and hold it. Now knit this stitch. Don't tighten it at all. It's not neat. Now knit the stitch what you Hold uh, in your fingers and we knitted four stitches and this is the pattern. Now you will uh, repeat it again. So knit two, one and two. Now hold the following stitch and knit you have to uh, hold it with, with the same um, way. Now knit this stitch, following stitch, and go back to the stitch what you have uh, in your fingers and knit. So the pattern is you will always knit two, and then we always uh, need to cross the third and fourth stitch. So the third stitch, hold and knit the following stitch, then go back to this stitch. You can bring it back on your left needle if you, if you want, if it's more comfortable for you and knit this stitch as well if it's too hard for you you can just knit and the beanie will look uh, nice as well so if you are beginner and it's too hard for you you can practice and you can just knit it will look nice and then you can um, you can come back uh, to this pattern again after. Okay, I'm at the end of the round and now it's a very important thing because now we need to we need to have a uh, odd number of stitches, not even. So now you can use these uh, 
two stitches you can separate it and uh, use them as a single stitch but i will not do it i'm going to um, add uh, one stitch like this take this uh, stitch turn it and get it on the left needle so now we have odd number we have 73 stitches okay and now we can continue in the same pattern as before Okay, so knit first two stitches and if you follow me, don't forget um, you have, uh, you have uh, two loops here, but you have to uh, count it as one. So knit this stitch, it's the stitch what we uh what we needed for odd number and now knit these two stitches together it was like one stitch and now again take or hold a following stitch knit this stitch then go back to this stitch and knit it so continue working in the same pattern as before. And you can see you you will always hold the stitch uh, before the crossing. Maybe it will see. Um, it will see better in next rounds. See? Here you have to hold this stitch and knit this stitch and go back to the to this stitch and knit. Now knit two again and continue working like this all the way around until you'll get enough high of your beanie. Okay, uh, I just want to show you the pattern. Uh, don't tighten it at all. It's easy to do. I hope it's easy to do now for you. Um, first rounds are always harder than, than uh, another <laughs> rounds. So keep going until you'll get enough uh, high of your beanie and to make one more centimeters um, uh, high of beanie so i'm making uh, beanie for me uh, my circumference um, is 54 centimeters and high is 20 centimeters or 19 0.5 centimeters so I'm going to make uh, the high of beanie about about 20.5 centimeters so this is how it looks like and meet me back again after so if you have uh, if you have enough high of your beanie now we can cut the tail and keep it longer because we need it uh, we need it for sewing so use yarn needle now just pull the needle and the end of yarn through all stitches all the way around so now it's the easiest uh, easy step of this pattern it 
So pull the needle through all stitches like this all the way around and then you can pull uh, your needles and then I will show you what next. Okay, now you can tighten it but you can see there is still a little gap. It's a little bigger gap. So we have to uh, make a few stitches in the same way. So make a few stitches around, um, maybe in two rounds. So when you will have the gap closed, uh, it will be enough. Okay, now I'm going to uh, lead the needle uh, on the other side. Um, so I want to get uh, the needle to the wrong side of beanie, and I will make um, I will make a few more stitches in the same way, and then. Just make a simple knot. You can sew the tail inside your beanie and that's all. Okay, continue working like this if you need it, then just make a slip knot and sew the tail inside the beanie. Okay, my beanie is done. I need to sew this starting tail uh, inside the beanie and that's really all. I'm going to make just two stitches here, then um, get the needle uh, on the wrong side of beanie. And now just sew it there and back, don't tighten it. Then you can cut the yarn and that's really all. All. So I hope you like my pattern, you like my beanie, uh, I hope it was enough understandable for you. Uh, you can write me here below the video if you have any questions and I will be very happy for thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe my channel yet, click the subscribe button and hit the bell as well because you will never miss any of my video. So that's really all. If you want, you can you can saw uh, the pom pom. It looks nicer, I think. Thank you very much for watching, and see you soon.